Hi guys, welcome to another video for Limnop.net. This week I was going to talk about uh, this nice back cover uh, for the Pine Phone, um, and I'll put links about that in the description of this video. But then something else arrived fairly quickly, and that is this. Now, this is a package, and as you can see, it's been opened before. And that is because it's, uh, at least that's what I hope, right? Um, a Librem 5. It's not my Librem 5, it's a Librem 5 that I bought. Uh, okay, there's an address there. Let me try and hide that. Bought of someone who got it and wasn't happy with it and so offered it on the internet and I got in touch and yeah paid some money and uh, now I've got it here so that box is pretty huge um, so here's the size comparison to the pine phones box um, yeah quite the difference I mean Look, it's <laughs> yeah. This is a giant box, but what I hear, the phone is pretty large too, and it's version one, whatever that means. So let's open this. There's a manual. Uh, so let's open this so the Librem 5 is less tall less wide but quite a bit thicker and it feels like it's built like a tank it's really quite heavy actually feels very solid what do we have here? Okay, power adapter, USB-C cable. Oh yeah, that's here. This is plug, and that's yeah for Germany or for Britain. Oh, well, for the EU, and that is for Britain. And this here looks like a SIM ejector, and well, that's it. Okay, and that's, I think, the headphones. Okay, so now that we've unboxed it, let's briefly look into it. Okay, the battery's in there. How do I take that one out? Oh, it has a flap here, maybe. Is that how? Take it out, because I would like to see how it, what it looks like. The battery inside, yeah, okay. So that's quite the big battery and 4,500 milliamperes, so, or 17.1 or watt hours, so that's the Librem 5 Evergreen. And below here, I think, are the um, Wi Fi card and the data. Uh, and the modem and apparently I switched it on and now it's booting on so yeah the spec cover feels good slightly hollow I don't know doesn't seem to fit perfectly but then this unit isn't brand new and it's been used before but it has been reset so I hope that there's uh, not going to be any... I don't actually know what the password is. Oh, it's one, two, three. Ah, just like on the Pine phone. So that's great. Um, yeah, I'll just skip through that. I'll go into uh, comparisons in later videos, but this feels... And that is, of course, well... 
not much to say, so I don't see a Wi-Fi device here. Hmm. Maybe those kill switches are off. I don't know. So these are the kill switches. And they have tiny on them. So this is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so that's on. This is the modem. And the third one. Yeah, I know you guys are going to tell me in the video comment in the comments of the video, right? Um, that's microphone. Um, that's what it was. So yeah, so I could add an account in Geary, but now oh yeah, now I've got the Wi-Fi. So let's uh, use my Linmop network and sign in here. Okay, what's that? Hmm. Rebooting. Maybe I need to connect it to power. I don't know. This is fully charged, so let's just plug it in and try again. Like that boot screen, it's minimal, but it tells the important message, right? Here we go again. And I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so it did register my password earlier. So that's fairly nice. And there's really not much pre-installed, much like on uh, Arch Linux Arm. Just a bare minimum. Not even Lollipop for music players pre-installed here. But chess. Um, honestly, that's really something I don't get. Uh, there's almost nothing pre-installed. Why pre-install a chess game? I. Uh, why would you do that? I don't know. Somebody in that company must be a massive chess fan. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll stop playing chess here because I'll just make an ass out of myself. So yeah. Oh yeah. So there are important software updates available. That's nice. But let's briefly open my website here. See if that loads. Oh, again without the HTTPS. Oh yeah, it figured that out itself. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen GNOME web this smooth on a pine phone. That's really okay. I like that. Now I can't test phone calls here because I don't have a SIM, but let's just uh, go shopping in the PureOS store and uh, do that update, right? Come on. Okay, now I think it's going to restart. Here we are again. This might take a while. <laughs> yeah, okay, so but just a few updates. Not much, apparently. I recently enabled the... This phone has a smart card slot, so you can't... You can not only put in a SIM card, but you can also put in a smart card. Um, and this here, by the way, is where... the SIM card goes, and the micro SD card... Yeah, that's where that goes. Micro SD card, nano SIM card. So that's much more like your typical uh, Android phone would have it.
Yeah, it's it's quite heavy, honestly. Pine phone is bigger, but it's lighter. But then, if this means that this phone has much better battery life, I think I personally am fine with that then. So, let's review what has been installed here. Okay, that doesn't scale properly. Yet. Okay. Oh yeah, that's quite a lot. New apt, F disk, some PRS packages, util Linux, multi arch support. Yeah, quite a bit. Now let's see what they. Yeah, okay. So they have actual uh, recommendations that work on the phone in PRS stores. So that's uh, a win to standard GNOME software because um, I know that all of these apps actually are going to work well. The username apparently is Purism by default. So this year is password safe. Um, it's not the latest release if I'm not completely mistaken. But Honestly, I, I can't remember every version number, so I may be wrong here. Might be a previous release, which was a bit slow. Hope it isn't. That one. So, before I say goodbye, uh, I think I should briefly talk about the specs of this device for everybody who doesn't know it. So. This phone has uh, an NXP IMX8M chip, um, which has a Vivanta GC7000 uh, Lite graphics uh, GPU, which has totally free software drivers and supports, I think, at least OpenGL ES3. I don't know whether it supports 3.2 as well, but 3, I know that. And it has 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes eMMC, and that system on chip has four Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.5 uh, gigahertz, which is a step up from the uh, PinePhone's 1.2 gigahertz. Also, the RAM is... LPDDR4, so it's uh, should be should have way better memory performance, and yeah, that's that. Uh, so I hope this helps. Um, this phone uh, weighs I don't really remember more than 200 grams, I think, almost 300 grams. Don't know what that is in American units, uh, and that feels really heavy. It feels really heavy. It's like a brick. But uh, I like how fast it is. Yeah. Uh, I, I I was able to play Animage last time uh, when I used a previous build of PureS on the PinePhone, which is, by the way, something I'm likely going to do again uh, for uh, the next video, uh, where I might compare these two or just go on, because there are still a few PinePhone distributions I've yet to review. Um, I recently uh, added, uh, added a new page to my blog, or two pages, well, not really. This app list is just a link to Linmob apps. And videos is a new page that lists all my videos and tries to make it easier to find them on all those platforms. And uh, I noticed that, oh, I don't have a, I didn't make, ever make a video on Fedora, which is something I'm going to try to do soon. Gen 2, I don't know when I get to that. Uh, yeah. 
and there are a few more here in here where I don't have any videos or the last video is really old. I will try to have my schedule uh, reflect this so that uh, I'm relatively up to date on the latest videos. Uh, but of course I'm going to go deep into the Librem 5 uh, into maybe running Mobian on this and so on and tell you more in the next video. Please uh, ask uh, whatever is on your mind, uh, what are your questions about this device. It seems to be faster than the Pine phone, I can tell you that right now, but uh, I will report back on how this works in, in actual usage. So yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, really look forward to your comments and questions on this video and see you soon. Have a great week. Bye bye.